Hamko Ito. President, please be seated. Ong Jumbrah Pakah Mento, ke Jumbrakan ini di Samnaka. Court is back in session. Reprise de l'audience. Now the chamber will commence to hear 2TCW858. Court officer, please invite the witness into the courtroom. Veuillez faire entrer le témoin à la barre. President. Good afternoon, Mr. Witness. President, what Monsieur is your name? Bonjour. Quel est votre nom? Witness. My name is Mom Soon. Je me nomme Mom Soon. President, thank you, Mr. Mom Soon. There is no Mom Soon, I mean the name in the, the document. So Dans le document, le who is Mom Soon is mentionné nulle part. Pouvez-vous nous dire qui est Heng Samut? I have two names, and Réponse. the name uh, refers to me. Hey, so so a pra 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 moi. Question. Question. So, what is your official name? Quel est votre nom officiel? Answer. My official Réponse. name is Mom Soon. Mon nom officiel est Mom Soon. President, what about President. Heng Samut? Et qu'en est-il de Heng Samut? When do you often use this name? Utilisez-vous souvent ce nom? In the past, you mentioned only the name Heng Samut, and you Par did not uh, state Samut, that you, you have another name, Mom Samut. Mom Soon. Mom Soon. Mom Soon. Soon. Rather. Soon. Let me clarify. Before I started work, I used the name Heng Samuel. De commencer à travailler, j'utilisais Meng Samuel comme nom. And uh, the name was, uh, I, I mean, uh, Heng Samuel uh, was used at that time, and because uh, at that time there was problem with the processing of the document, I, uh, I was asked to use the name Suum. President, what is your birth name? Quel est votre nom de naissance? Answer, my birth name is Heng Samuel. Mon nom de naissance est Heng Samuel. President, when were you born? Quelle est votre date de naissance? Answer. Réponse. I was born on the 24th of uh, February 1956. Question. Where were you born? Où êtes-vous né? Demande le président. Answer. 
I was born in Tmei Tbong village. Nam Tau Sub District, Nom Srok District, Batambong Province. President, what is your current address? My current address is in Tmei Khang Tbong village, Nam Tau Sub District, Nom Srok District, Conti Min Jai Province. Question, what is your current occupation? Question, quelle est votre profession? Answer. Réponse. Currently, I am a rice farmer. Je suis riziculteur. Question. Question. What are your parents' names? Comment se prénomme, comment se nomment vos parents? My father's name is Oi Samuel, deceased, mon and my mother, mon père se Chim Yan, deceased. Ma mère, Chim Yan. Les deux sont décédés. Question. Question. What is your wife's name? How many Quel children do you have together? Answer. I have four children. My wife's name is Sim Lun. Sim Lun est le nom de ma femme. President, now, President, which name do you want to use before this chamber to be clear Quel for all of us? Because uh, you have two names, two different names, de nom, de nom and uh, the name there is no alias for you. So which uh, name you are using now? You want Quel to use now? Que vous que vous Answer. Réponse. In the, the official document, my name is Mom Suam, Mom and Suam I use this name uh, currently in my work. Dans mon travail. <coughs> President, Mr. Mom Suam. Monsieur Mom Suam. To your best knowledge, you have uh, no connection or relationship Vous with the two accused and to any other party admitted in this case. Is that true? Ou par le sang avec aucun des deux accusés, ni avec aucune des parties civiles Witness. en l'espèce. Est-ce exact? That is true. Réponse. I have no relationship. Je n'ai aucun lien. Question. And I was told that you have already taken an oath. Is that also true? Answer. Yes, I have already taken an oath. Réponse. En effet, j'ai déjà prêté serment. President, Mr. President. Mom. Soon. Monsieur Mom Soon. As a witness in the proceeding before the chamber, you may refuse to respond to any question or to make any comment which may incriminate you. That is your right against self-incrimination. As for your obligations, as a witness in the proceeding before the chamber, you must respond to any questions by the bench or relevant parties, except where your response or comments to those questions question may incriminate you, as the chamber has si just informed you of your rights as a witness. You must tell the truth vous that you have known, heard, seen, remembered, experienced, vécu, or observed directly about an event or occurrence relevant to the questions that the bench or parties pose to you. Mr. Mom Suam, have you ever been interviewed by an investigator of the OCIJ? Du bureau des juges d'instruction. If uh, you have been interviewed, si how oui. many times uh, did it happen? Answer. The interview Réponse. took place in 
avant d'entrer dans le prêtre, la déclaration que vous aviez faite aux enquêteurs afin de vous rafraîchir la mémoire. Answer. Yes, I have read already, but I cannot recall all the information in the document. de toutes les informations dans le document. Question. To your best knowledge. Question. Does this statement reflect what you à votre connaissance et d'après vos souvenirs, les réponses figurant dans ce document correspondent-elles à ce que vous avez dit aux enquêteurs Answer. I was interviewed by an investigator at that time, but Réponse. J'ai été interrogé uh, par un Some points uh, were not clear in the, the document, so I uh, will clarify those points uh, before the chamber. Je clarifierai toutes ces questions in 1975, la I mean 17 avril 1975, le 17 avril interrompt by the president. Le I uh, do not want to know what is in the document, but I would like to ask you whether the document reflects what you gave in the past. Uh, I mean, does this statement reflect what you have uh, given to the investigator? I will not go into detail about so what you said in the document. Je you will be asked by parties later on. Witness. I was interviewed by the investigator. The questions were put to me and I provided my responses to those questions. President. Président. Once again, have nouveau, you read uh, this document, or did you read this document, document in the morning? Ce matin. Witness. Yes, I have read it, Mr. Mais President, but I cannot Monsieur recall everything. President. President. Do you record or what, which name uh, you used during the time that you were interviewed at your home? Vous du nom que vous utilisiez au moment où vous avez été entendu chez vous. At that time, I used the name Hing Samut. Hing Samut était le nom que j'utilisais à l'époque. President, I think it it is not uh, too long from that time until now, President, why you used uh, the name Hei Samud when you were interviewed, and now you prefer to use your name more soon instead. Witness. When I was interviewed, I don't think it will caused any problems uh, to me when uh, I used the previous name. Que cela me causerait des ennuis et j'ai utilisé mon nom précédent. President, based on internal rule 91 bis of the ECCC, the en chamber now gives the floor to the co-prosecutor to so put questions before pour, other parties. I would like to inform le témoin co-prosecutors and uh, civil parties that uh, the combined time for you is uh, half day Ensemble or two sessions. De deux sessions soit une demi -journée. Good afternoon to uh, Mr. President, Your Honors, Council, and everyone in and around the courtroom. And good afternoon to you also, uh, Mr. Momsoum. Uh, my name is Travis Farr. I'm a lawyer with the Office of the Co-Prosecutors. 
and I'll be asking you a number of questions this afternoon. Now, you, you covered a number of topics in your witness statement, but I'm going to be focusing on your experiences at the Trapping Tamal Dam work site. So to start with, can you just tell us, to the best of your memory, uh, when you were sent to the Trapping Tamal Dam work site? That answer. Question. I participated in the construction of uh, Trapang Tmor. J'ai participé à la construction du barrage de Trapang Tmor. I built, I helped build uh, the dam and make the reservoir. J'ai aidé à la construction du barrage et du réservoir. You first arrived at the Trapiang Tma Dam work site. Construction already Lorsque begun vous êtes question, at that point. Est-ce que vous êtes arrivé? Est-ce que les constructions avaient déjà commencé? Pimatman. Answer. Réponse. I participate in the, the, the Piangtmo work site and I carried us to build the dam uh, west of the bridge. I'm, I'm trying to establish the time you were there. Are you able to give us a month and year when you arrived or do you not remember? Sur le site de travail ou pas? Hello. Answer. I would like to tell the court that upon my arrival at Trapiang Tmor, I uh, moved from place to place, from places to places. Uh, first, uh, I worked in the rice. Field, I could only fière. recall that I started uh, working Et from places to places in the late 1977 or 1976, rather in late 1976 or early 1977, as I stated, I was not thinking of the date uh, at the time, so as I told you, I could not recall it when. And did you remain at the Trapiang Tma Dam work site until construction was completed on the dam? Answer. Answer. I was working at Trapiang Tma in late in early 1977 and i left uh, that uh, topant more work site in late 1977 okay thank you for that when you went to the trapping tomo dam work site did you volunteer to go or were you sent Vous êtes allé là-bas, est-ce que vous vous étiez porté volontaire ou est-ce que vous y avez été envoyé Answer. I was removed from the work site. On m'a enlevé du site de travail. It was the decision by Adam to send me somewhere else. C'est eux qui ont pris la décision de m'envoyer ailleurs. Which work site were you removed from De quel site vous a-t-on enlevé Demande le procureur. Answer. I was removed from the unit in the commune. I was assigned to harvest rye at Mangpur. After which I was uh, sent to Trapiang Tmor to build the dam, construct bridges. They could send me anywhere they liked at the time. And who was it who sent you to Trapiang Tmor Dam? Question. Who was it who sent you to Trapiang Tmor Dam? 
à ce barrage Answer. There was a group chief or unit chief. And that they are the one who assigned a workforce to certain locations as they wanted. I had to go after they assigned me to any certain particular place. I had to follow the assignment. So you, you just said they could send me anywhere they liked and you had to follow the assignment. Why did you have to follow their assignment? Answer. How could I refuse to go? Although I did not want to go, I had to go anyway. And why did you feel that you had no choice in that matter? Answer. If I refused to go, they could say that I was a stubborn. Ils auraient pu dire de moi que j'étais têtu. And what did you think would happen to you if they decided you were stubborn? I object, Mr. President, is asking for speculation. Your Honor, I'm, I'm not asking for speculation. I'm asking for the witness's subjective perception of his position, which is certainly relevant to the voluntariness of what happened. President, the chamber overruled the objection put by Mr. Kope, the defense team for Mr. Nguyen Chia. The question can be put by uh, the deputy co-prosecutor, Mr. Winnet. You are instructed to give your response to the question. Council Kung Sam On, Mr. President, the question has not been yet uh, fully translated, in, interpreted into Khmer. Perhaps uh, the, the witness uh, have not received the translation. President, Deputy International Co Prosecutor, could you repeat the question to be clear for the witness? Yes, Mr. President, I'll do that. Uh, Mr. Witness, can you tell us what you believed would happen if you refused to go and were judged to be stubborn? de vous exécuter et si l'on avait jugé de vous que vous étiez têtu. Witness. Témoin. I could not refuse the assignment if uh, Anka decided so the place where I had to go, I had to go because it was under the assignment by Anka. Pris une telle décision, alors je devais okay, thank you. me plier aux ordres, puisque l'encart l'avait décidé. I'd like to ask you now a little bit about the organization and the hierarchy of the workforce at the Trapping Tmall Dam work site. And can you tell us first which unit you were in? Pourriez-vous en tout premier lieu nous dire à quelle unité vous apparteniez? President, please observe microphone, Mr. Witness. Monsieur le témoin, veuillez observer que le microphone est bien allumé avant de parler. No, uh, witness. Témoin. 
the unit that I was in was mobile unit at a sector level. And which sector was the mobile Question. unit associated with? Et which sector number? Sector, quel était le numéro du sector auquel votre unité était rattachée? But answer. It was called Sector 5 at the time. Réponse I was in a Sector 5. Sector 5. Au sector 5. Do you know who was the Question. overall commander of the Sector 5 mobile le unit? Commandant de unité, le, le chef, le responsable de l'unité itinérante du Sector 5? Answer. I could not recall it. Réponse. Je ne m'en souviens pas. I heard there were uh, leaders of a uh, sector five, but I uh, could not uh, recall his face, or I do not know his face. I knew only that Atawala was the overall leader. Uh, when you say that Taval was the overall leader, what did you understand Taval's position to be? Quelle était votre perception de sa position Qu'aviez-vous compris de la nature de sa position He was in charge of the sector in Réponse, charge of the mobile units at the Trapeant Modem website. Sur le site de okay, so other than the Sector 5 mobile unit, uh, très bien. are Donc, you aware uh, of any of the other units present at the Trapeant Modem uh, website? À votre connaissance, y avait-il d'autres unités sur place uh, uh, sur ce site? I couldn't grasp the situation there Je as I could not uh, contact any other workers from other sectors and there were many workers on site. We Il could not go and mingle with other workers from another sector, for example. À, euh, Do you have any idea what the total number of workers was at the Trapping to Dam work site? Combien de travailleurs euh, au total euh, travaillaient au site de Trapping Ma? I could not uh, answer Réponse. your question. I knew there were many de workers there, but I cannot Je give you the figure. Y avait beaucoup de travailleurs. Je n'ai pas de chiffres à vous donner. I, I want to ask you now about a person that you mentioned in your statement by the name of Niao, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. You mention him as your chief in the sector mobile unit. And my question is, can you tell us how many people Niao had under his direct command? Tanyao was a supervised a big unit. Tanyao avait uh, and la the big unit actually comprised of uh, three small units and each small unit comprised of thirty workers. Uh, de 30 so is it correct then that a big unit, as you use the term, would mean Question. approximately ninety workers? Donc de dire qu'une grande unité était constituée d'environ quatre-vingt-dix travailleurs. Maybe it was less, uh, although in, in theory, yes, it should be uh, 90, but uh, in, in practice, each small unit comprised of only about 20 workers. Chaque petite unité était composée d'une vingtaine de travailleurs. And this uh, what you call big unit, Question. was that Donc in turn part of an even bigger unit, as far as you know? Uh, ensemble encore plus grand, à votre connaissance. As I said, one Réponse. big unit uh, comprised three indiqué, small units. Unité, Mobile units were divided into small units and big units, en, uh, and within that, three unites uh, 
formed one big unit. Trois petites unités that is my euh, constituent une grande unité. Because I belong to a big unit Moi, and there were three small units uh, under that big à unit. De laquelle il y avait trois petites Did you ever hear the terms Question. platoon or company or battalion referred to uh, with reference to any of the units in the Sector 5 mobile company. unit? ou section en faisant référence aux unités itinérantes du secteur 5. Président, Monsieur le témoin, veuillez attendre l'allumage du micro. Witness. I don't know the details of the organization of big units or small units. I only knew that a small unit should comprise 30 workers. And then, under the small units, there were three groups. In each group composed about 10 to 12 workers. That's my understanding about the group and the unit that I was attached to. Okay. So, uh, going back to Niao, uh, the big unit chief, did he give you instructions or assignments about your work? Um, or any other aspects of your life at the Trapping Tamar Dam work site. Concernant divers aspects de votre vie au site de travail de, du barrage de Trapping Tamar. He was chief and uh, he instructed us to do the work. And you the instruction was relayed in a meeting. He was the one who actually imposed the work plan upon us. Le plan de and we had to carry out the work plan as instructed. Ce plan de and we had to complete the work plan. Et nous devions, uh, he received the instructions from the Lui above, and he relayed those instructions to us. Et nous les You've just said that he received instructions from above and relayed those instructions to you. Can you tell us how you know about him receiving instructions from above? Because uh, he, when he Réponse. was about to attend a meeting, he told us that uh, he would go to attend a meeting, although I did not know where he attended uh, réunion, those meetings. Disait, and later on, he laid us the uh, instructions Mais on the plan. Uh, You've said you don't know meeting. where he attended the Question meetings. Do you know who he attended these meetings with? Il allait assister à ces réunions. Mais savez-vous avec uh, quelles étaient les autres personnes qui assistaient à ces réunions? I do not know. I do not know non, about uh, his meetings. Okay. Um, can you tell us uh, whether Niao remained Question. the big group Très chief bien. for the entire time you were at the Trapping Tamar Dam work site? pendant toute la période où vous étiez au barrage de Trapiankma. Yes, uh, Niao did that. Réponse, oui, c'est le cas. I was with him during 1977. And later on, I cannot uh, be sure, maybe in late 1977, he disappeared, and I thought that uh, he was arrested because by that time a new group came from the southwest to supervise the work, and most leaders had disappeared, and people fled everywhere. 
I also fled uh, from the work site aussi, and uh, some workers had been gathered up and uh, returned to the work site. Uh, I myself fled to my house. Aussi de moi, je me suis enfui, uh, je suis okay, moi. I'd like to uh, get a bit more clarity Question. on when uh, Tanya disappeared uh, compared to your timeline uh, at the work site. Are you uh, saying that Tanya disappeared uh, after the construction of the Donc, dam was already complete. Vous dites que a disparu une fois la construction du barrage terminé. He Réponse. disappeared about the time that the Terpentamot dam worksite was almost completed. Il a à peu près au moment où le barrage Actually, uh, in, était presque in terminé. general, the, the construction was completed, but uh, some parts uh, en fait, la the embankment broke terminé, mais due à to the high pressure uh, from uh, the uh, water, so workers were used to patch those parts. Et and encore, after that period, he uh, disappeared. Et après cela a disparu. The situation became serious, situation and people left the work site. Et there were rumors about this or that, and no one was uh, sure of anything, as uh, many people uh, had disappeared, and we heard that uh, he was arrested Nous because we were afraid that uh, when our leader was arrested, we would be next. At the work site, Usually, we try to, to ignore anything else but Sur focus on our travail, work, and général, we try to be an ignorant. De tout et de nous sur le et de ne so you've just savoir. told us that you Question. were afraid that when your vous leader was arrested, you would be next. Why did you fear that you would be next after your leader was arrested? Ensuite. Pourquoi avez-vous peur d'être arrêté après l'arrestation de votre chef? We were the uh, subordinates. We Nous were simply afraid. Nous and I peur, myself did not have any uh, role to play. I was simply a member of the uh, mobile unit under rôle. his supervision. Okay, so going back now Question. to the time before Tanyao was arrested. Uh, were you ever aware of Tanyao being in communication with Taval? À votre connaissance, Tanyao a-t-il eu des contacts avec Taval? Était-il en communication avec celui-ci? He uh, was part of the Taval's group, and as he was also involved in the sector mobile unit, Il était he surely was within the group of uh, Taval. Dans ce secteur, uh Où il y avait des and that is based on my Taval, observation at the time. Tanya was part of the circle of Taval. And you say that's based on your observation at the time. Can you give us the details of that observation that led you to this conclusion? Vous avez pu observer à l'époque. Pouvez-vous nous donner des détails? Qu'est-ce qui vous a conduit à cette observation? I said that because I was always on site at the Japan Modem uh, website. I did not go anywhere. In the morning, I would uh, attend to the work ailleurs, and I would return to the sleeping quarter uh, later in the evening. And uh, I made that observation dormions, because soir, I noticed uh, the disappearance. Mais remarqué and I only kept it to myself and did not discuss the matter je observé, with je others. Rien dit, je ai parlé à I did not dare to speak uh, to others about je my observation. 
parler à qui que ce soit de ce and que j'avais observé. Everybody just kept her on working at uh, the work site. Chacun continuait à travailler. Sur dans le and that applies to every worker at the Depend Modern work site. We were careful and attentive soir. to our work nous assignment. Très attention, nous nous consacrions So can I ask, did you continue working after Tanyao's disappearance? And if so, who replaced him as the big group chief? After Daniel disappeared, I ran Après away from the work site and I did not know who replaced him. And allow me to repeat it, after Daniel had been arrested, Et I returned to the bed, that is to uh, my house. My body moi, became swollen maison, and I could uh, not work and because of the chaotic situation that I observed enflé, on site, I fled. Uh, and return to the cooperative sur le in order to seek treatment for my swollen condition and to avoid uh, being at the work site. Okay. I think I just have one more question about the, the structure of your unit. Towards the end of your statement, you mentioned another person named Pan. Pan. Uh, When you were asked who your group chief was, you answered that it was someone named Pan. Can you tell us who that person is? Pan was my group chief. He was the leader of my group, and he was the one who uh, led us to work. Le chef du groupe, lui qui and how many people were in that group that question. you're talking about? Et ce groupe était constitué de combien de personnes? Uh. Réponse. There were ten of us in my group. Nous étions dix. So when I learned that. However, at present, I do not know if any of them survived. And now I forget the names of those uh, group members. Okay. I'd like to turn now to the subject of arrests at the work site. And I'd like to start by asking you to clarify something that you said in your statement. And this is in Kamai at page 0027 9088, English 0028. 9999 and French 0048-3959. And what you said was, if they wanted to arrest us, they started with a spy and they asked about our parents or relatives' backgrounds, title, class, or official rank. So my question is, who were these spies and how did you know about their existence? Et comment saviez-vous qu'ils existaient euh, Maître Copé, Monsieur le Président, Witness, le Président, Monsieur and le Témoin, attendez, Copper, you have the floor. La... Maître Copé, vous avez la parole. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Maître this Copé, morning, merci, I Monsieur to le Président. Ce matin, j'ai soulevé um, une objection lors d'une question similaire ou en lit an um, an 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 Um, just reading an excerpt and asking for confirmation. So I object to this matter of question. Comme le dire et lui demander de le confirmer, donc je soulève l'objection.
d'intervenir. Merci, Monsieur le Président. Euh, je me permets d'intervenir parce que c'est effectivement une question qui va euh, être amenée à se poser dans, pour les prochains témoins. Euh, j'ai compris et j'ai euh, également lu attentivement euh, les règles euh, établies par la Cour suprême qui sont, comme l'a indiqué ce matin, des recommandations à la Chambre. Euh, là, j'entends bien que euh, Monsieur le coprocureur demande qui sont les espions, mais avant même de parler de ces espions-là, il n'a pas posé de questions ouvertes sur les arrestations de façon générale. Ce n'est que si hein, le un témoin ne se souvenait pas euh, de ce qu'il avait dit dans sa déposition qu'à ce moment-là, il faudrait lui dire, mais il faudrait qu'on puisse avoir euh, des témoignages qui soient spontanés de la part des témoins plutôt qu'effectivement une lecture d'un long paragraphe euh, euh, d'une déclaration euh, et une petite question incidente euh, sans que le, le, le témoin ait plus spontanément, encore une fois, déposé devant la Chambre. Ce sont les recommandations de la Cour suprême. Je rappelle que c'était ce que nous avions également indiqué en tout début de procès euh, et qui, avait, qui était en lien avec... Euh, le fait que nous nous opposions euh, à la lecture euh, antérieure par les témoins de leur déposition, mais en tout état de cause, au moins lorsque euh, les parties interrogent les témoins, ce serait bien de d'abord commencer par des questions ouvertes pour, pour savoir ce que le, le témoin dit spontanément avant qu'on lui mette les mots dans la bouche de ce qu'il a dit, euh, ce qu'il aurait dit auparavant dans sa déclaration. Uh, first of all, what I was doing was not reading the witness's statement and asking him to confirm the contents. I was reading him a portion of what he's already said and then asking the first of several clarifying questions on the particular topic. I was essentially drawing his attention to a particular topic and to what he's already said. Uh, Your Honor will remember this morning when Defense Counselor for Nguyen Chia was asking the civil party Uh, who he felt was responsible for the crimes, he took him to his, uh, well, to a translation of his statement and said, you previously said that King Sihanouk was the one who was responsible for the crimes against you. Why did you say that? He did not say, who do you think was responsible for the crimes against you? In my mind, that's not an objectionable way to proceed, because if he had said, who do you believe is responsible for the crimes against you, the witness would have probably started with his unit chief, he might have mentioned other people. Five minutes later, we would have gotten to King Sihanouk and he could proceed. I, I just don't think we have that kind of time in these proceedings. I understand that it's not permissible to ask for simple confirmation, and that's not what I'm doing. And just one more comment, I don't want, I don't want the chamber to uh, be confused about what happened before the Supreme Court chamber. Um, statements were put to witnesses before the Supreme Court chamber. Uh, these were witnesses who were proposed by the Nguyen Chia defense. And a uh, witness, SCW5, for example, when he was being examined on the 6th of July, uh, sorry, going too fast. Uh, when he was being examined on the 6th of July, by defense counsel for Nguyen Chia, they questioned him in exactly the same way that I'm questioning this witness. And I can just read an example. And this is a witness proposed by the Nguyen Chia defense, so it's not a cross-examination situation, it's their own witness. They said, you said in your statement to the investigators that at one point in time you collected about 20,000 weapons coming from Luan Nol soldiers, and that at one point in time you stored these weapons. You just acknowledged that you were a weapons collection. Where, collector, where did you store these weapons? And why were these, why was it necessary that these weapons were stored? Summarizing a portion of a statement and then proceeding to ask for clarification, the witness answered. Nguyen Chia's next question was, in your statement to the investigators, you said that you stored these weapons in a warehouse, in a bamboo forest. Is that correct? That's just a request for simple confirmation. It was then used as the foundation for further clarification. So I think we need to be very clear about situations in which a portion of a statement is put and confirmation is sought versus the use of a statement to direct the witness's attention to something he's already said and to use that as a basis for further examination. That is the efficient way to proceed. There's a crucial uh, difference between um, the witnesses that were asked questions 
uh, in appeal and Les this uh, witness and, appel and other witnesses uh, in this case uh, not in appeal, dans ce dossier, that all these uh, uh, witnesses read their statements beforehand. Tous ces they were given by way to a copy uh, of the statement. Uh, uh, um, so, uh, and, and that is a practice, by the way, and we will uh, we'll address that matter in another time. That is a practice that was also uh, prohibited by the Supreme Court Chamber. The Supreme Court Chamber explicitly uh, instructed uh, Wesu not to give any uh, prior statements uh, of the witnesses to the witnesses. Um, uh, and uh, in addition, uh, I would like to say that just giving an example without uh, first clarifying whether I asked the question already in general terms uh, is not very helpful. But uh, 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 more problematic is that si this witness and all other witnesses pas, have received their um, earlier statements, so there's a crucial difference. Monsieur le Président, merci de me donner la, la parole. Je ne voudrais pas interrompre indûment mon collègue du bureau des coprocureurs, mais il me semble qu'il s'agit là d'une question de principe et qui va revenir régulièrement, donc autant que nous prenions le temps de vous éclairer sur ce qui s'est passé lors de l'audience devant la, la Chambre suprême et que vous puissiez vous, vous prononcer en étant pleinement informé. La Cour suprême a euh, rendu un mémo sur la conduite des audiences. Elle ne s'est pas prononcée sur des points d'appel qui ont été soulevés par la défense de Nunchi et de Poussampan sur l'utilisation des PV d'audition et sur la lecture des PV d'audition en amont des auditions devant la Chambre. Donc il s'agit simplement d'un mémo, donc il faut être quand même clair sur la nature juridique du document qui a été cité par nos confrères de la défense hier. Je souhaitais également me référer à votre euh, décision, Monsieur le juge Laverne, vous nous avez éclairé hier sur ce que vous considériez être l'interprétation de ce document et vous nous avez euh, engagé et intimé de ne pas utiliser la pratique générale de citer de façon répétée et extensive des extraits des PV d'audition. Euh, donc je pense que nous devrions rester dans ce cadre-là vous nous avez intimé de ne pas utiliser la pratique générale de citer de manière extensive et répétée des extraits de PV d'audition, mais je vous intime aussi de conserver la pratique que nous avons depuis le début de cette audience et d'être quand même particulièrement prudent par rapport à ce qui vous est dit du côté de la défense. Encore une fois, la Chambre de la Cour suprême ne s'est pas prononcée sur des points d'appel. Elle a émis un mémo sur la conduite des audiences. Soyons très clairs sur ce qui s'est passé. J'ai moi-même utilisé des PV d'audition lors de cette audience pour confronter des témoins. Donc nous avons tous pu faire beaucoup plus que ce qui nous est dit du côté de la défense aujourd'hui.
Le Président, la Chambre informe les partis Repetition of the previous issue, and this is not a minor issue uh, that we have to deal with. De la précédente question. And in order to make it clear, all parties are instructed to ask open questions to the witnesses and the les parties. Poser des questions ouvertes and aux témoins et aux parties upon civiles. the responses of the witnesses or the civil parties, and if they are contradictory to their previous de statement, then the follow-up questions si est en can avec be une or can incorporate extract of his or her uh, previous statement en in order to clarify the matter. That is the first uh, uh, point. And Ça, the chose. second point Ensuite, is that if previous statement is chose, si la read out, lui est lu, it is more or less similar to a form of a leading question, and that should be avoided. So all parties, please uh, refrain yourself from doing so and ask open questions to the uh, witnesses de and civil parties. And as I said, if civil. there is discrepancy, then extract uh, from the previous statement can be used as a follow-up uh, question. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, can you tell us? President, uh, check the bench. Uh, you had the floor, and the deputy co-prosecutor, please hold on. Je sais pas, c'est peut-être une question d'interprétation, mais j'ai entendu qu'il fait référence à des citations de, de déclarations faites ultérieurement, euh, déclarations ultérieures. Il me semble qu'en réalité, il est fait référence à des déclarations antérieures à la déposition euh, du, du témoin, évidemment. Referring to statements made prior to a witness testifying, Donc, ce qui est recommandé, est de, so de poser des it is recommended that de, open uh, questions uh, be referred to declarations faites antérieurement par le témoin. Referring to any statements made at a prior stage by the witness. Thank you, Judge Laverne, and thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, can you tell, her, tell us whether you and the other workers at the, at the work site were monitored in any way? Answer. We were under watch at the work site. They wanted to know whether we actually worked at the work site. And uh, they assign us a certain quota, for example, two or three cubic meters of soil to complete per day. And, uh, they watch uh, over us uh, whether or not uh, we were active in our, uh, uh, in our work. They had to watch us in order to see whether we could meet the work quota, for example, if uh, uh, we were assigned to finish uh, two cubic meters of soil per day, and if we could uh, finish it, then they would consider uh, the uh, work quota. For example, in my group, I uh, did not know exemple, who was spy, qui était qui était and uh, self-criticism uh, would be held uh, to criticize each other whether there were groups that were inactive or whether there were exemple, other groups that uh, were dire, more uh, active. Des actifs, des so as I said, there were self-criticism sessions. Il y avait des séances Once again, uh, we were under watch every time uh, when répète, we were working at the dam site or anywhere else. And were you ever aware of any members of your group being arrested? Mm. 
บาทยมยีโตเวียโจละตนาเวียยูโตเวียพลิกให้ปุ๊บ I may have forgotten there may have been a r e s t at that time but I could not recall the names or those who had been arrested without uh, asking about the names in particular do you remember any particular uh, occasion on which you saw someone being arrested s'il y a eu une occasion en particulier vous avez vu quelqu'un se faire arrêter But l o w c h no b i l l Let me inform the court when we were, were required to strive to work, or when there was a plan set for us, for example, to complete the dam in two or three days. Incident would happen, and uh, there would. Be arrested to be made. If they wanted to arrest people, it is. It was easy for the cadre to do so by setting a more quota for workers to do. There were incidents occurring at the time. Uh, Do you recall whether any members of your uh, group of 10 people or your your larger group of 30 people were arrested? Answer: I was not able to grasp. The situation. I could not recall who had been arrested. I was not attentive to what happened in around me. There were 17 April people, people from the city that is Phnom Penh. I could not get a full grasp. Of the situation, and I could not recall fully what happened. Uh, Mr. President, with the chamber's leave, I would like to put a portion of this witness's previous statement to him, in which he describes witnessing the arrest of three people. President, President, as instructed by the chamber, open question needs to be asked first, or you need to elicit the, what uh, the witness remembered first before you can do so. Avant de faire ce que vous proposez. Uh, Mr. President, that, that's what I had been uh, trying to do, uh, given that the witness has, in his statement, described uh, a situation in which he personally witnessed the arrest of three people, and given that he is now saying that he doesn't remember that. Uh, Those were the, the open questions. I believe there's now a contradiction between his testimony in court and his prior statement that I'd like to, I, and I'd like to put his prior statement to him to see if it uh, refreshes his recollection of this particular event. Presley. The chamber has uh, instructed you already, and you can do so now. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, Mr. Witness, I'm going to read a 
brief part of one of your uh, of your previous statement. And for Council's reference, the Khmer version is page 0027-9088, English is 0028-9999, and French is 0048-3959. Sir, this is, this is what your, your statement says. In one evening, I saw the Khmer Rouge arrested three members from my group. I did not know what their faults were. They were hardworking workers. Since they were 17 April people, I do not recall their names now. They made the arrest secretly, and then they trucked the victims away. The victims were secretly arrested and trucked away because my group was in the sector mobile unit. An arrest of a member of the sector mobile unit was made in secret. Does hearing that ref refresh your recollection about witnessing this event or not? It happened close to the hall. Truck was uh, driven to the hall. I did not know why the, they were arrested. I was told that uh, the truck came to arrest people, and I was told uh, who would be arrested. I was told at that time three people had been arrested, and these three individuals were trapped away. I noticed that the three people arrested were very active. I do not know why they were arrested. Uh, what were the reasons? I was uh, horrified because uh, they were arrested uh, with uh, no justification. I uh, may have forgotten uh, a while ago. President, thank you. It is now proper time for a short break, and the chamber will take the break now from, from now until 3 o'clock. Court officer, please find a proper room for this witness and uh, TBO support staff, and please invite them back to the courtroom at 3 o'clock. The court is now in recess.